Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in the Excel automation series. Let's see our agenda for today. Today we are going to see what exactly a macro is. We are going to create a macro enabled file in Excel. Post it, we will try to use the same macro and try to invoke it with the help of UiPath Studio. And all of this we are going to see with the help of a demonstration in UiPath Studio. Talking about the macros, so let's start with an Excel which I called book1.xlsx. I have the data which is name and the age. So these are some person name which is having age in front of them. Why do we need macro? Just park that question for a little while. Let's try to see what exactly we want the data in here. So assuming that I have a data here and I want to know whose age is maximum. So if I just go by, so Thelma is the one whose age is maximum and I guess Harry is the one whose age is minimum. So let's say I have this data which is coming dynamically from a different source and there I want something repetitive steps where I want to highlight the data which is having the lowest which is having the highest and then possibly some kind of stuff which is the repetitive stuff but that repetition is only restricted to Excel. So in real world scenarios these scenarios can be of more critical type so what we can do is all the excel related repetitive steps we can record in a macro and then we can call the macro with the help of a uipath studio okay so let's get a macro created for our task so we have to create a macro which will give us the highest and the lowest of the age first thing is macros cannot be saved in a file having xlsx it has to be saved with a macro enable file and the extension for the macro enable file is xlsm okay and the next thing we have to enable the macro setting in the excel so first thing before starting anything we have to do some settings in the excel which is we have to go to the file options trust center here you will find an option of macro setting and enable all macros hit okay and hit okay so this is the first setting which we have to do while dealing with macros so macro settings should be enabled in the trust settings next this workbook if i just save it in my desktop and i will call it macro macro example and this workbook should be saved with excel macro enabled workbook xlsm now let's go back to the recording of the macros we go over to macros view macros there is something default macro i'll just delete this one okay let's go to macros record macros and i'll just age kelsey this is the name if i want to assign a shortcut key i can go ahead and do that okay where i want to save the macro i want to save in this workbook we can provide a description and hit okay shortcut key must be a letter okay let's go ahead to like this and this workbook okay so now whenever i press ok whatever steps i will perform excel will record those things in a form of a macro let's go ahead and do that hit ok so the first thing is i want to select this one home and shorten filter custom short expand the correct selection i want to short it by age from let's say largest to smallest okay next i want to copy the first guy copy and paste it here and this guy copy paste it here and then i want to make this thing in let's say thick borders and give yellow color okay so this is our objective of the macro so now to save this macro i have to again go to views macros and stop recording okay i'll just go ahead and hit Control s now if i go to the view macros this macro is already recorded let's try to execute the macro we just created let's change the name a little bit i'll just change the name to here and let's say copy these names to here and the ages let's shuffle them a little bit Control v i'll just copy this one paste here copy and paste and let's delete this guy also 
so now we have just changed the little data a little bit and uh, now Kyle is of age 99 and Scott is of age 13 so let's make this guy to age 10 or let's say just made a little changes let's make Lara to age 9 so now we have just recorded an macro which whose objective is to get the lowest and the highest ages and print them in a specific cell so let's go and test the macro we go to views macros view the macros and this is the macro we have just created we can go ahead and run this file okay so as you can see kyle is of age 99 and lara is of age 9 and this was data is already sorted so this is how a macro work is in, in an excel file so we can use macro to create pivots filter the data copy the data from one sheet to another sheet apply formula apply formatting and all of those stuff so if we have something which is getting repetitive in different excel sheet as a bigger part of the automation we can always record a macro for it and then we can use the same with the viewport studio so if i go again to the macros view macros edit you will see something of code like this so this is the macro code which is if you are familiar with the programming you can always go ahead and write the code also so that is also an option available so if this range and everything we want to keep it dynamic we can always pass this value as an argument to the macro and we can always edit the macro so an easy way is to record just the steps if the steps are fixed otherwise we can always go ahead and write this here okay i'll just close this guy close this one so now we understand how a macro works let's go to the definition of macros and see what exactly a macro is we go to the official microsoft site and we just see what exactly a macro is so microsoft says if you have a task in microsoft excel that you do repeatedly you can record a macro to automate those tasks a macro is an action or a set of action that you can run as many as time you as you want when you create a macro you are recording your mouse clicks and the keystrokes after you create a macro you can edit it to make minor changes to the way it works okay so now i hope we understand what a macro is and we have just created a sample macro which i call the sample example.xlsm let's try to use this macro in an uipath studio for that i quickly go to uipath studio i have created a sequence which i called macro first thing first macros to execute the macro we have an activity which is called execute macro and if we'll hover over it it is inside the excel processing and macro so that means this activity will work inside an excel application scope so i drag and drop an excel application scope i go to project so if i go to the this project tab if i just open this folder i do not have the excel macro i quickly go to this guy file and i'll just save as this path okay and hit save now let's go back to your path studio project hit refresh and the macro example is available in the project directory next we have to just pass the excel so i'll just go to excel and now i'll select the macro example dot xlsm okay so now the excel macro is available in the excel application scope so we can always pass this thing as a variable as an argument that was previously stated in the example next to execute the macro we have to drag and drop an activity which we call execute macro now execute macro if i go to the properties it expects the name of the macro macro parameter if there are any input set of parameters at least 30 parameters we can provide and if and if the macro is providing some output back we can always go ahead and create a variable and store the output so let's go ahead and write the macro name as just go back go to home view macros view macros and the macro name is age c a l c i go here and i just type age c a l c it save so this is just one step how do you execute the macro so before the steps what exactly we can do is we can just let's say i have a data in different sheet i'll just copy this data in sheet 2 okay and i'll just do something like this copy paste just this to 99 this to 45 this to 34 okay so let's say we are dealing with some kind of automation where we are getting di data dynamically and then we execute the macro how do we do that right so we can always go ahead i can take a 
read range take a read range here read range is from which sheet sheet 2 the data is from sheet 2 and the data is from b4 so i can type the range as b4 go to properties we don't require the headers i'll save it in data ages dt underscore ages so sheet 2 before and in the same sheet i can take a right range right range to sheet 1 now i want to type the data to sheet 1 from the cell b2 cell is b2 now and the data table is dt ages go back to the properties we don't have that address okay so now when i run this automation what will happen is what will read the data from this sheet in the idle scenario this can be from a different application a different data table let's say a web application where you are getting the source data you put it in a different sheet you apply the macro and then you get the expected results so as of now let's just check the existing data is of kyle and lara 99 and 9 hit save i'll just minimize this guy and in the excel application scope macro setting is enabled and i want to see it happening so i have just clicked the visible option as on okay so let's go ahead and run the file okay so the bot has finished the execution let's go back to the excel we go to sheet one and now the data is updated to charles and peterson so now we have seen this is how we can paste the data from any different source so that different source can be of any of the web application an sap application a web application we can paste the data into the excel then we can apply a macro now we, in this scenario we were just updating this cell and coloring in ideal scenario it can be some threshold value it can be some breach of the data where you want to compare it to some heavy calculation and then you want to color the data to make some pivots all those operations can be recorded in excel and then a simple macro can be executed with the help of your patch studio so let's say if i just change this data dynamically so if i just change this guy age to 100 and if i just go ahead and macros and view the macros run so the data changes accordingly so this is how powerful the macro is you don't have to execute all the steps again and again in this video to execute the macro with the help of your patch studio i have used an activity which is called execute macro to know more about execute macro we can always go back to docs.uipod.com and read about the activity and its property so that is all for this video if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and happy automation